let us just go back to our lazy reliable broadcast algorithm so let's consider the case where our lazy reliable broadcast uses diamond p instead of p so we have diamond p instead of p and you remember diamond p has eventual accuracy while p has perfect accuracy we would say so here is the question and we have the possible answer if we replace p by diamond p does that affect only the performance of the algorithm or does it only affect the correctness of the lazy reliable broadcast algorithm or it has no effect or it affects performance and correctness so what is the answer to this question to decide on the answer let us understand the difference between p and diamond p the difference is that p is accurate while diamond p is eventually accurate there are two ways to answer these questions one is to look at the behavior of the algorithm and the other is to look to the proof and let us do the more disciplined way which is to look to the proof so if you remember the proof of lazy reliable broadcast we only used in that proof the completeness property of p and not the accuracy but the completeness property of p is also shared with diamond p diamond p has the same completeness property thus as the proof goes if we use diamond p the algorithm is still correct so at this point we can say that we cannot affect the correctness of the algorithm now we want to understand what happens to see if we can affect the performance or not what can happen is that a process can get a false notification of the crash of another process so pk gets information that pi has crashed but this is false this is false what does it do pk re broadcast all messages of PI so PK rebroadcasts all matches of PI but it does this unnecessarily hmm? so given that it means that it does affect the performance so it it affects the performance so this is wrong affect both performance and correctness and it has no effect is also wrong so in summary using diamond p will affect the performance and does unnecessary rebroadcasts so now let us ask ourselves another question which is can we modify the lazy reliable broadcast and not use p and for that matter not use diamond p either so here is the way to do it we just assume that all processes have failed so whenever you get a delivery because somebody did a web broadcast to you you just re web broadcast as soon as you get the message so it always takes two communication steps each process first gets a delivery and then does a web broadcast and that's it so that is an algorithm and notice in this algorithm we don't use failure detectors so we are in the fail silence model now let us look at the algorithm in detail and it is quite easy so we are using the broadcast we have initially the delivered set empty and we never we get a broadcast request of a message m what do we do we add it to the deliver set and then we trigger a local delivery and then we immediately do a web broadcast next whenever a process gets from the web broadcast a delivery of that message m from that source 
So if the message is not already delivered, it immediately delivers the message, of course, adding it to the delivery set, and then it triggers a web broadcast again. So, and that is the algorithm. And that is, of course, regardless of the process that sent the message have crashed or not. So let us look at the correctness of this algorithm. Reliable broadcast properties, validity, no duplication, no creation is satisfied by the best ever broadcast. We only need to prove that the property of agreement and which says if a correct process delivers a message M, then every correct process or node deliver the message M. So let's assume a correct process PK delivered the message M that was broadcast by PI. So what does it do? It immediately do a web broadcast. And since PK is correct, the web broadcast validity property ensure that every correct process gets the message. 